Lontrell Williams on page six. Good morning, Your Honor. Brad Cohen and Sam Zegna for the defendant. Good morning. Good morning, Judge. Judge Ruben Scovin on behalf of the state. Okay, good morning. Mr. Williams, you were arrested for pursuant to an arrest warrant. It was issued June 3rd. It's charging you with aggravated battery with a firearm. And you have two attorneys here? I'm sorry, two attorneys in the state. Go ahead. Do you want to announce again? Brad Cohen and Sam Zegna for the defendant. Have you had a chance to review the arrest warrant? Yes, Judge, we have. Let's review as well. Okay, I've had a chance to review the arrest warrant. Any argument, counsel? Yes, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Judge, if you notice in the police report or the A form, it definitely is in probable cause, in my opinion, for aggravated battery with a firearm. There's no intent shown in that document. There's no words that were said. There's no pointing of the firearm at anyone. Essentially, what the document says and what the witnesses said on that day is that the defendant was being escorted out of the club. He reached for his pockets, looking for money in his pockets. A weapon was pulled, and it was fired at the ground. And after it was fired at the ground, allegedly the ricochet or whatever happened was one of the either security guards or an employee of the club was struck in his ankle. Certainly, it doesn't show up any intent to injure that individual. I think it looks to me like an accidental discharge. But even if we stepped it up from an accidental discharge and said it was some sort of reckless discharge, it still wouldn't have the probable cause to charge him with an aggravated battery with a firearm. There's no witness that says, at least even a word that the individual would say, you know, like, hey, I'm about to do something or something to demonstrate some kind of intent other than an accidental discharge. It doesn't appear that there was that there was anything that would have prompted some sort of intent from the from the defendant. OK. All right. So let me hear from the state. Judges, the state disagrees with that version of the facts. I mean, this is pretty clear from the arrest warrant. What happened here was the defendant was angry because the victim in this case, who was a security guard, told him to put away his gun. He then grew angry. He pointed the gun at him and shot him. The victim specifically states in the arrest warrant that he had to move out of the way. He was directly shooting at him. The only reason he got shot in the ankle was because he jumped out of the way at the last minute. This happened in front of a club full of people. There's video of the defendant with the gun in his hand. He has a prior pending open case right now where he's also with a gun and two people were shot. So, Judge, we're going to be asking for no bond on this. And, Judge, if I may, I'm not sure if you're reading the narrative from when the first police officer went out and took statements. But the first police officer that went out and took statements, it clearly says that he shot into the ground. There's nothing 
the first statement that says anything about uh, that um, he pointed it at any. They turned several times where he was supposed to turn him in. They canceled. Um, He's here so now. Judge. What's the yes, judge. This is an aggravated yes. battery. He's entitled to a bond. The standard bond is ten thousand dollars, and that's what I'm setting. It's a ten thousand dollar bond with a hold for the division judge. Case number. Hold him for case number F twenty one four one three five B, and you'll see your judge tomorrow, at nine a.m. All right. Thank you. Oh, one Thank other you, thing. Judge. I need to stay away from the victim. One. Whoa. What's the victim's name or initials? Is it X? I'm sorry. There's a witness and a victim. No, Judge. The victim is initials I D. I is an N. D is in David. Okay. Chief, the victim's initials are F D. The alleged victim. Sam. Come on. Can I have the, name, you, the name of the, the initials of the alleged victim or what? <laughs> no, thank you, Judge. Oh, I have it here. Thank you. Your order to stay away from the victim, his initials are F, D, no contact with this victim either directly, indirectly, in person, in writing, by telephone, or through third parties. And you must stay 500 feet away from his home, school, and place of employment at all times. You want me to order him to stay away from this club as well? Yes, Stay away from the King of Diamonds oh, establishment oh. at 7020 Northwest 72nd Avenue in Miami. So while the judge, can you, empty, you can't go there. Yes? Judge, can you also tell Sam to stay away from there as well? <laughs> she doesn't have jurisdiction for that, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> you have good lawyers. This is a serious matter, and you're going to see the division judge tomorrow. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> Now in just one station, surveillance cameras showing a new view of a violent shootout in a parking lot of a South Florida apartment building. The barrage of bullets sending two people to the hospital, and it lands a rapper in jail. Seven Sheldon Fox with the exclusive. Broad daylight bullets. Two hit over half a million bucks in exotic cars. All of it on surveillance video obtained exclusively by 7 News from October in ultra-quiet Bay Harbor Islands. I got the night because I'm fine. And it involves a recording artist, Pooh Shiesty, except unlike this clip, what happened here was no music video. The footage shows a McLaren sports car. Mercedes Maybach and another Mercedes pull into this East Bay Harbor Drive condo parking lot. Men from the vehicles eventually get out and meet, and then this. The man in the white shirt has a pistol. The man in the black sweatshirt has a longer gun. And at about the same time, they begin firing before retreating back to the Maybach. The fancy getaway cars speed off, and one of two victims then hobbles to the car. Sky Force 836. The victims ended up at Aventura Hospital with injuries. But back to the scene for a moment. Police say the famous rapper was in that McLaren. If I shoot my gun, 300 shots. Police and prosecutors say Pooh Shiesty was part of the group that ended up in this parking lot that October afternoon where the shots flew. And it happened right across the street from the police department and town hall here in Bay Harbor Islands and days before an arrest. The town of Bay Harbor Islands says you're wanted for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. He's also charged with armed robbery. Bay Harbor Police names one other for aggravated battery in their affidavit, saying the two left the state in a private jet. Police also using these Instagram photos. Rapper Pooh Shiesty will remain in jail after a Miami judge revoked his bond Thursday. The 21-year-old rapper, whose legal name is Lontrell Williams, was arrested Tuesday in connection with the May 30th shooting at a Miami strip club. He was initially given a $10,000 bond in the case, but ordered to remain behind bars until Thursday's hearing. Circuit Court Judge Ellen Sue Venzer revoked that bond, the Miami Herald reported. There is not a chance I'm giving this kid a bond right now, Venzer said, according to the Herald. Online jail records confirmed no bond had been issued in the case. Cops said Williams shot a security guard in the ankle at King of Diamonds Strip Club around 4 a.m., on May 30th, Williams was charged with aggravated battery. At the time, the Memphis-born MC was out on a bond in another Miami case. Williams was charged with armed robbery, aggravated assault, and aggravated battery in connection with the parking lot shootout in October 2020. He pleaded not guilty to all the charges and posted bond in March. 
Sevilla's video of that scene appears to show Williams getting into a car during the chaos, but it does not appear to show him firing any shots.